Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve addition and subtraction one-step inequalities. Now, these are very similar to solving one-step equations. We need to isolate the variable, which means get it by itself, by using the inverse or opposite operation. Remember, balance. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. The difference between these inequalities and equations is equations have one solution. With these inequalities, we're going to have an infinite amount of solutions. You'll see what I mean by that as we go through our four examples. So let's jump into number one, where we have x plus 3 is greater than 7. So we need to isolate the x. We are adding 3 to x. We need to do the opposite or inverse of that, which would be subtracting 3. So let's subtract 3 from the left side in order to isolate the x because those 3s are going to cancel out. Now we do need to remember balance. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So if we subtract 3 from the left, we have to subtract 3 from the right. Our x is now isolated. We can bring down our inequality sign, and 7 minus 3 is 4. So our answer is x is greater than 4. So any number greater than 4 would be a correct solution to that inequality. So for example, let's pick any number greater than 4. We'll pick 8. Let's plug in 8 to this inequality. So 8 plus 3, that's going to give us 11. Is 11 greater than 7? Yes, and that's going to be true, again, for any number greater than 4 would uh, make that inequality true. So any number greater than 4 is a solution there. We have an infinite amount of solutions. That's the difference I was talking about between inequalities and equations. So let's move on to number 2, where we have w minus 15 is less than or equal to 20. So we're subtracting 15. We need to do the inverse or opposite operation. So it would be adding 15. Let's add 15 to both sides. The 15s on the left are going to cancel out and isolate our w. Bring down our sign. And then 20 plus 15 is 35. So w has to be less than or equal to 35. So any number less than or equal to 35 would be a solution to that inequality. So let's try one out. Uh, let's try 20. 20 is less than 35. Let's plug in 20 for w. 20 minus 15 is 5. Is 5 less than or equal to 20? Yes. So any number less than or equal to 35 would be a solution for that inequality. On to number 3, where we have r minus 8 is greater than 4. So we're subtracting 8. The opposite or inverse would be to add 8. That's going to isolate our r. Do it to the right side as well. And we end up with r is greater than 12. So any number greater than 12 would be a solution to that inequality. So let's plug something in greater than 12 to try it out and check. Let's do 15. So 15 minus 8 is 7. Is 7 greater than 4? Yes, that's true. Now let's see what happens if we plug something in less than 12. Let's see if we get something that's incorrect. So let's do 10. Let's plug in 10 because 10 is less than 12 there. And 10 minus 8 is 2. Is 2 greater than 4? No, so that would not be a solution to that inequality. Remember, r has to be greater than 12 um, for it to be a solution. And lastly, number 4, we have 5 is greater than or equal to y plus 9. So we need to isolate the y. We're adding 9, so the opposite or inverse would be subtract 9. So let's subtract 9 from both sides. The y is now isolated, and 5 minus 9 is negative 4. So negative 4 is greater than or equal to y. So in other words, y has to be less than or equal to negative 4. 
Let's try a solution here, something less than negative 4, and we'll try negative 5. So let's plug in negative 5 for y. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4. So 5 is greater than or equal to 4. That would be true. So negative 5 is a solution, as well as anything less than or equal to negative 4. So there you have it. There's how you solve addition and subtraction one-step inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.